So Solixa is a UK-based technology company that was established in 2007 to develop the next um, generation of distributed temperature and distributed acoustic sensors. I'm going to focus today on the in-well applications for that technology. So distributed sensing works by coupling a surface-mounted optoelectronic interrogator with a passive optical fiber, which is placed downhole inside a ruggedized cable. Each cable could contain multiple optical fibers. The system works by injecting a pulse of laser light into the optical fiber and then subsequently capturing the tiny reflections of light that return to surface. And contained in within these reflections of light is information about the localized temperature and dynamic strain at each point along the optical fiber. And this allows us to reconstruct the temperature and the acoustics all along the fiber path. This is analogous to having, let's say, a thermometer and a microphone at every meter along the well path. So the cable, uh, fiber optic cables can be installed in the well in a number of ways. Um, they're cemented often outside the casing in the annulus, or they're clamped to the outside of the production tubing, or often they're just deployed into the well as with a, a wireless intervention, say. And where a fiber optic installation exists already, it's very easy to retrofit with this type of system and perform a survey. And the vast majority of the 40-plus surveys we've performed to date have been on pre-existing fibers. So this image is a typical Solixa visualization of real-time temperature and acoustic data for well integrity and production profiling. And in this instance, we were able to identify the places in the production interval where injection gas was break breaking through to the wellbore, allowing the operator to make uh, remediation plans. Conventionally, you'd have to place a point sensor at a particular position in the well or move your sensors across the region of interest uh, to get this type of information. But with distributed sensing, you get this information continuously and from a sensor array that has no downhole electronics, no moving parts, no power sources, and which doesn't introduce uh, an obstruction to the flow path. I think I'm missing a title here. Seismic has been one of the most rapidly uh, adopted applications for the technology um, in the industry so far. And you can, sit, you can consider the optical fiber in this instance as a huge array of um, single component sensors aligned with the well path, sensitive to the dynamic displacement caused by seismic waves. The example on the left is from a multi-well survey where four of our DAS systems were installed on four fibers within three wells and continuously recorded over a prolonged period. And uh, this was made possible by the synchronization of lasers between the four systems and also the integration of uh, GPS clock time. And the common, gather, uh, common shot and common receiver gathers in the bottom, they show how DAS data looks very much like, looks and feels very much like conventional seismic data, which has been important in the introduction of this technology to potential users, to geophysicists. The example on the top right is from a, a different project, a carbon capture project, where the grayscale image shows the entire wave field from a single um, shot point, and uh, the other image is a, a pair of intersecting migrated images from a, a series of shots uh, from the pattern showing. To date, Solixa has performed um, in the range of 30, 35 such borehole seismic surveys. Again, I'm missing the title here. This is related to production monitoring. So temperature has long been a, a core measurement in uh, production monitoring. But when it's complemented by the unique attributes of true acoustic uh, data, the combined or, or composite answers can become a lot more robust. Uh, distributed acoustic sensing gives you an array of acoustic sensors in the well that you can record from continuously. And the image uh, in the top right gives you an idea of that time-wise temperature and acoustic recording across the entire well path. And the ability to detect propagating sound within the well bore leads to compositional information about the fluid from sonic velocities, but also to uh, fluid flow speeds from the Doppler effect. Uh, the example on the bottom right is from a multi-rate survey on injection well where the acoustic data has been used to quantify the outflow from individual injection nozzles. And the results of this analysis match closely with the analysis of DTS data, temperature data, from a prior survey on the same fiber. So already from these two technologies, we have a handful of methods
to describe downhole production conditions continuously. And, um, you know, where the fiber optic cable is permanently installed in the well, you have access to that data at any time without the need for costly interventions. So a key question in this type of acquisition is how do we manage these huge data sets? And we believe uh, the answer lies in, in fog computing. Uh, enabled by Cisco and in collaboration with Celixa, fog, the fog is going to enable sensor data acquisition or sensor data gathering into an environment that allows us to rapid, rapidly process the data and drop key information into the hands of the operator in real time if necessary, while the big data is then efficiently transmitted and stored in the cloud, accessible for future processing or analytics, perhaps as a larger integration of DAS and DTS data into field models. So to summarize, these applications are finding their place in the industry already. We in Solixa can see the next 18 months worth of system, um, system development, system improvements that's going to dramatically improve the fidelity of these applications and these measurements. And there's no doubt that if you have fibers in your wells, you are going to have in the future access to life of field uh, monitoring. And it appears that in 2015 and beyond, the big data vision will likely be uh, dominated by fog. And uh, that's all I have time for. Thank you very much. <laughs>